Hi, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this time um, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in uh, debugger of Perl uh, as a REPL, so without not really to debugging a, a Perl script, but instead of exploring how Perl works. So we go to the command line. Uh, as you know, you can type in Perl uh, minus E and then uh, some kind of a Perl code and it will execute. You, you see that uh, 42 was printed here. The same way you can just give 1 as the value, which is an empty, uh, empty script basically, so you run it and doesn't nothing happens. And what we do is you can debug it with minus D and then launch the debugger. But because the, you can uh, put together with a, a flex on the command line, so normally people just write minus DE1. And then when I run it, it opens the debugger and gives me the prompt. It executed the, the empty script. And then now we can type in any Perl command here or use the, the tools of the debugger. So for example, I can type in print 42 and print out the, the number 42. Or I can say dollar $x equals to 42 and then assigns the, the value 42 to the scalar var variable. I can then use the print function again to print it out or I can use the built-in tool uh, of the debugger which is the p command to print out the, the same value. The same way as I assign the value to the, to the scalar I can also create an array. So for example here are the names foo, bar and buzz and then I can uh, print out the names with the regular print command. But obviously this is not really good, it doesn't look good. Uh, I can put quotation marks around it and it looks a bit better because now it, uh, there are spaces but once you print out this way it's probably unclear whether you are whether this at names contains three values or one value with spaces in it. So a better way to, to see what's inside the array is to use the X tool of the debugger and give it the uh, reference to this array. So this way it will print out that is the reference and then it will print, print out the indexes and uh, the values. The same way you can uh, create a hash. So you, s you, s you have um, f name, which is uh, foo and um, a name, which is bar, let's say, uh, just for the consistency. Uh, and then now we have a, a hash and uh, we can print out the content of this hash with the same tool, the X, uh, that will uh, print out that it's a hash reference and the keys and the, the, relative, uh, the respective uh, values. You can also do other things, so for example, you can uh, play with, uh, find out how the push function works, so let's say push and then uh, you say moves and then you go back uh, and print out the content of the array and you can see that actually uh, this um, array uh, got longer and now there is also the, the moves value in there. So you can explore uh, Perl code within the debugger uh, and uh, sometimes using the Perl commands themselves, sometimes using the tools of the debugger like print uh, and X. You can also use uh, modules from here, so you can say use CWD for example, it will use uh, load this module uh, with all the functions and then you can call the CWD function of it and uh, obviously calling it doesn't show anything because it executes and returns the value so if you want to see the result of this then let's say print out the result which is just the current working directory. You can also you can also use another module, for example, use base name, file base name, base name, and uh, it has a base name uh, function called base name, and it uh, let's give the return value of CWD to it, and let's print out, and I have to learn how to spell and uh, it just prints out uh, the the base name of that uh, pass, which is the, the last part of, uh, of a pass. But what if you want to see how this works? So you can put a breakpoint um, on this function. So you want to put a breakpoint on the file base name, base name 
uh, function and then if I run again this is the B letter B uh, then if I run again this code then it will stop at that point when we enter the function uh, the base name function you see the base name function of the file base name class uh, which is implemented in this file um, row number 215 you can look look around is L uh, you will see the le rest of the code or you can look around from let's say your line 200 to 220 and you see uh, some lines here that are probably uh, not code part so they are not printed and then the base name function and uh, how it works so you can use a basically any tool you would like uh, within uh, the debugger and you can explore Perl this way at the end using Q will exit the debugger I hope you liked uh, the tutorial the video and then please subscribe to the channel and uh, come back to later